There's one video that precedes this one where Monty learns how to ski switch and jump on skis. Link in the description. Next foundational skill is learning to spin well. Show me a 360. Pretty good, but let's make it better. Let's undo the boots again. You can leave them like on the most open, but leave the hooks in. First thing, let's keep the arms here and ignore them for now. And we're just gonna do 180s. Just a little wind up with a hip like such, just a few degrees, and then go. Um, nice, try one more time. Really think that you're jumping off the toes just like you would in your socks. Really good. To spin really fast, it's important that you have this motion, you wind up and then you press down from your toes into your knees, hip, shoulders, and lastly arms. So this movement is just accelerating, accelerating, and maximum speed. We're gonna try just a T-set. Arms straight out from your shoulders. I don't want them anywhere there, but just straight out. You can almost see how the energy just goes from the feet up, just making it go really fast. Like, really nice, that's perfect. So here we have no jumps, it's really quite flat. And the goal is to do close to 180 and stand pretty upright. Something like this. Boom. Oh, really good. Let's try that a few more times. Just a small change to your skiing now. I'd just like it to be a little bit wider on the inside edges. It's gonna make it easier to wind up and get a push off from the snow. Just like this. 540. Ah. Ah, I can do that. You your turn, 540, mate. Oh, yes, really quite good. Very good work. I think he's ready to try it off a little jump now. You never know. Maybe I'll be doing that one day. Uh, all right, Monty, we're going to do the jump here just above the tube. Mm -hmm. We're going to try to ski really straight up it. Yep. And uh, with a T set. Well, you're always spinning to the right up there. Okay, sorry. I kind of forgot about that. Uh, hey, Carlos, let's ignore the last shot. I kind of forgot which way he spins. <laughs> Took us to the wrong jump. Lovely T-set. Had almost no wind-up. like it to still like rotate a little bit to the water left before you go to the right. And the pop was quite good. But you're landing like really nose heavy. The hip is almost 90 degrees. We still want to land like pretty upright. <laughs> You're doing the old trying to counter rotate yourself to faster. So what's happening there with Monty was a classic issue of not spinning fast enough. So he was setting it off with a T-set and then immediately trying to use the arms to counter rotate the feet. Kind of like a shifty. You need to set it off from the ground with the arms. Boom. Way better. You see, he's doing so good, he knows how to do it. And the reason why he probably couldn't do it off the bigger jump is probably a bit of fear or nervousness. And then you just gotta take three steps back, work on the basics again, and then work yourself back up to a little bit bigger jump like that. Oh yes, good one. Last skill, sliding stuff, like box slide, rail slides, that sort of thing. If you have to start on a steep box, practice the position above it. Nice hip width apart, maybe slightly wider. Try to lift the uphill foot to really, you know, just a little bit like that you have most weight on this downhill ski before you go. And then you want to look at the landing. It's also gonna help you commit. Then you just walk to the edge. So now I'm really close to the edge. And from here, just give it a little push off. And I try to put most of the weight on the downhill ski and stay a little bit low. Does that sound good? Yep. Nice, one, two, three, go. Sick. Bravo. Two, three, go. Yeah! Really, really good. All right, now we're gonna try to pop a 90 on from standing still. To build our way up uh, towards doing it with uh, some speed. Just like the spins before, Nice little wide stance. You can wind up a little bit of rotation. It'll be a little bit tricky to set off. 
but uh, something like this. Nice one. Uh, next step, with a little, little bit of speed. Go, wind up, go, go, hop again. So good. Now we was continuing to rotate the whole way to switch, but we want to be able to stop that rotation and spin in the opposite direction. That way we're gonna learn how to lock. So now we're actually gonna ignore these 95% of the box, and we're gonna pretend it's a rail, it's only yeah, this thick. We wanna have it like bang in the middle of our bindings, or boots, so that we easily can do this with the ski. So we're gonna stand still, rotate on it, and we're straight away gonna put the heel down. And, and then you're immediately gonna start rotating, so maybe you need to like, put it down to stop the rotation, like stop locking, and then press down the heel again at the end of the box to make you spin off the forward. Does it make sense? Yeah, it'll make sense in a bit. All right, we observe. So now I'm pretending I'm gonna slide only the rail part. I'm gonna start with minimal speed, I'll just push off and then go for it. So I'll rotate on just like before. Yeah. Mm, that's a fail. Yeah. You made it to straight with like counter rotation and some luck, uh, but you are in the middle of the box now. Yeah. So we gotta try to slide only this part here. Yes. Yes. And he held this clean slight lock the whole way down. That was epic. Exactly what we we're trying to learn. Cool. Well done. How was it for you today? It was a challenge. Uh, lots of stuff I'd learned wrong but you broke it down to the basics for me, and I think I'll take your tips away and keep learning, yeah. Yeah, especially spinning, keep working. Yeah. Anytime you start counter-rotating again, go to a flat slope, practice there, then like slowly increase the size of the jumps again. Anyway, see you guys in the next video.